check one, two, check one, two. What is up, guys? Your Riddles, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you the Wax Wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you how to create a Wax Wallet. Wax is one of those blockchains that has a lot of collectibles. It has a lot of games, and they will be coming out with more games in the future. This is the blockchain right here. For the people that don't know, it has a lot of IPs. Um, as you can see right here, Street Fighters, Atari, Funko, Hasbros, um, Sony Pictures. They have a lot. They have a lot. I don't think they even have all of them here to be honest uh, and of course they have a bunch of games right here and they will be bringing more games into wax i don't think they have the best games right now this one is brand new but anyways let's jump right into the wallet ladies and gentlemen so you're gonna go right here to sign up for account and then you're gonna choose what you want to use you can use facebook google or whatever or you can just create email password re-enter password and sign up um, I use Google, so if you guys want to use that, I think that's the most simple way. All right, so as soon as you create your account, it's going to ask you to send five wax to your wallet, ladies and gentlemen. So where can you purchase wax? So you can purchase wax with your debit card um, from MoonPay, Simplex. You can go to an exchange like Binance, Crypto.com, OKX, Ocoin. And of course, all of this has KYC. So you need to go into one of these to be able to um, buy some wax. Once you buy some wax, then you send it right here. You're gonna send it right here and it's gonna ask you to send it to this user right here. It's gonna be called newuser.wax. That's the funding address. And then you have to put the memo as well. So right here, you could copy it. And right here, you can copy as well and paste it on the exchange. So right here, I'm going to use Crypto.com. Crypto.com is an application on the phone. It's an exchange on the phone. Of course, you have to KYC. So as you can see, I have 300 Wax XP or Wax P. Um, I would transfer out. I would go to withdraw. Boom. Then go to external address. Then I would add my wallet. And as you can see, I can actually go right here and scan whatever's on the screen. There you go. And then scan it boom now i have to put the memo here and it's not letting me put the memo so i'm probably gonna have to put it manually i would have to put the memo manually boom 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 to one so as you can see it went through the transaction went through so now i have my account ladies and gentlemen so as you can see you can see your nfts obviously I have nothing there's dApps right here that you can use, games, et cetera, et cetera. You got staking rewards, so you can actually stake um, some um, wax and then actually earn some wax um, by staking. And then you got wax news. Then you got ETH bridge, so you can actually send money from the Ethereum um, blockchain into wax. You would have to buy wax E to actually transfer it into the wax blockchain. That's a little bit more complex. I'll probably do a video later on on that. And then you got NFT bridge. Sometimes there's drops in Binance, et cetera, et cetera. So you might um, need to do this in the future for some type of game or some type of collectible, right? All right, so this part is very, very important for you guys to understand. As you can see right here, we got resources. You got CPU, you got net, and you got RAM. These are three resources that you're going to need as you use the WAX blockchain, ladies and gentlemen. Now, CPU, net, and RAM all have different purposes. And right here in this guide, it tells you exactly what that means. So you got the net, which is the throughput capacity of the WAX network. You got the CPU, which is the processing time of an action. And then you got RAM, which stores data of the dApps in the blockchain so you need all three of these so as you're making a transaction maybe in the future it might ask you to um you know add some cpu add some net or get some more ram so to get cpu you actually have to stake wax and then you can unstake it in the future if you need that um you don't actually need to stake a lot i would probably go like you know i have two wax staked i could probably stake uh, i don't know like three more wax for cpu um, I would stake right here, boom, transaction successful, and then I would go for net and also do the same thing, um, boom, and transaction successful. And then for RAM, you actually have to buy RAM because RAM is the space um, that you need to store information in the WAX uh, blockchain right here, as you can see right here, stores data from dApps. So as you use more um, dApps, you're going to need more RAM. Now, you don't need to buy a lot. You don't. It's literally um, cents. It's literally cents because WAX is worth literally cents like 20 30 cents something like that now if you guys want to explore the wax blockchain from the back end it's very very important 
to understand this because here you can actually unstake the tokens that you have staked in your dashboard so if you ever stake a bunch of wax and you don't know how to withdraw that wax how to unstake it this is the way so you go to wax.blocks.io and you go to log in and you know there's going to be many other apps that you would stake and then to unstake you're probably going to have to use this so you connect your wallet boom easy you connect your wallet and then you would go to your account now once you're in your account you go to wallet right here boom easy then you go all the way to the left right here you go stake or unstake cpu net boom and then you go to unstake and as you can see cpu unstake and then amount of net on stake so very very simple as you can see i have a wax on cpu i have five wax on the net so i would just choose the amount boom 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 and then click the on stake it's that simple and then it will land on your wallet right it would populate right here the liquid right it would add it to your wallet and then you can do whatever you want after that now once you guys are deep into the wax ecosystem you can go to this exchange right here called wax.awkward.exchange this is something like uniswap if you guys use the ethereum network or if you use solana the radium swap so basically you would connect your wallet right here boom cloud wallet approve the transaction and then obviously go to swap and then find the token that you're gonna you want to swap wax for so there's a bunch of tokens right this one is a brand new token brawl right here you got brawl this is a brand new token ladies and gentlemen um this is a brand new game so you can go ahead and be like okay i want some brawl and then swap away then you would go to your dashboard right here and you can actually see the tokens that you guys have right now i don't have any other token i only have wax but you would see the wax token that you just bought in the awkward exchange now one of the marketplaces that works very very well is wax.atomichub.io in this one you would go right here up here log in and you would go to cloud wallet obviously and then boom approve transaction and as you can see right here i have my wax balance i have my wallet right here and it tells you in dollars as well um right here you can explore the market um obviously you need to know what you're looking for before you go in and start buying stuff but as you can see this one is a brand new game and you can actually go view on the market right um, and you can see the collectibles obviously you have to do your research before you buy anything there's a bunch of nfts that are cheap um, that are valuable like you know they have some type of value that you can use it in, in a game you can you know collect them there's a lot of collectibles in, in the wax blockchain i mean they have a lot of ips a lot of ips as you can see you got scooby-doo i mean that's a, that's a huge ip scooby-doo is a huge ip right everybody knows scooby-doo and there's gonna be many many ips coming to the wax blockchain very very soon um we already have a bunch of games i would love to see many more games in the wax blockchain so um i think they're going in the right direction so anyways i'll see you guys next video make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe to the number one nft gaming channel in the world peace